Hey everybody, this is Tracy. I'm standing in front of a coffee tree. It has all these little red berries on it, and not many people know this, but the berries are really yummy, and you can eat them like fruit. <laughs> everybody just eats the bean inside, which is made into coffee, but uh, the fruit part is very good. And they're ripe when they get dark red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's why what makes really good coffee is you pick them when they're ripe. Mm -hmm. So always hand picked coffee is going to be much more superior to machine picked. And you can pick one of these ripe cherries and you pop them in your mouth and chew the fruit. It's really good and sweet. And then you'll notice the little coffee beans on the inside. You can uh, suck on the coffee beans and then spit them out. If you bite into them, they're going to be a little bit bitter. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's really good. And it's very good for you. A lot of antioxidants and flavanols mm -hmm. and things on the outside part of the coffee cherry. Um, my only concern was to make sure it's organic because it's not going to be. So currently now the outside part is just discarded or used as mulch. You know what the most expensive coffee in the world is? It was in that movie The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Henry saw. It. <laughs> but it's called oh, Kopi Luwak. And Luwak is an Indonesian tree cat. And it comes from the highlands in Indonesia. Oh. And these tropical cats, like an ocelot, will eat the beans off the tree. They only eat the ripe ones because they're like and really, really oh. sweet. And then they poop it out. <laughs> and then people will collect the coffee beans from the cat poop. <laughs> and something about the enzymes and the digestive system yeah. of the cat makes it very smooth. That would be the coffee. only thing he remembers out of the entire time. <laughs>